Welcome back to the Christian Foundation course, study 117. We're in the Doctrine of Baptism, studying faith. Let's get straight to it. Um, we're going to go to the lesson of the fig tree again because it just shows us that faith can ha be a cordial mixed with doubt. And we shouldn't worry about that. Um, that's when we should pass our faith over to the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we should do things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ anyway. And when the disciples saw it, Matthew 21, 20, they marveled, saying, How did the fig tree wither so soon? Jesus answered and said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt. So we can see there that faith can be cordial with doubt, can have doubt mixed in it. Now, should we judge ourselves for that? No. All we've got to do is turn out and fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Then we turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 7, cast down but unconquered. Now look at this in the context of faith. <clears> that we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellence of the power of God, and not us, we are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always carrying about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus Christ that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our body. Did you know the life of Jesus can be manifested in your body? It can fix your body. For we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So then, death is working in us, but life in you. And since we have the same spirit of faith, According to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke. We also believe and therefore speak, knowing that he who raised up the Lord Jesus will also raise us up with Jesus and will present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, that the grace, having spread through the many, may, be, may cause thanksgiving to be abound to the glory of God. So, grace and thanksgiving and faith. Faith is a spirit. It's not something you force. It's something that you're given by the Holy Spirit within your spirit. And that's what activates it, maintains it, and sustains it. Because again, Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. And if we try and force things, then it's, our, it's out of our you know, strength and stuff instead of his. And so it's not so pure. Now I think it's fair to turn to Hebrews chapter 12 and read to you from verse 1 that how he explains that Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1, the race of faith. Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us. Now weight means things we think we need to do or not do to make God happy or stop him from being sad. That's a weight. And it causes sin and it ensnares us very easily. And let us run the race, run with endurance the race that is set before us. And what is that race? It's looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. It's looking unto Jesus. That's where we recover and restore our faith because he is the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and has sat down at the right hand of God, right hand of the throne of God. And then we turn to John chapter 6 and verse 28 where the Pharisees asked Jesus a most critical question and he gave a most vital answer. And this is a passage that I think we all need to ponder and remember. John chapter 6, verse 28. Then they said to him, What shall we do? The key word here is do. And this is where a lot of people, religious people come undone. That we may do the works of God. What shall we do? that we may do the works of God. Jesus answered and said to them, The work of God is that you believe in whom he has sent. Now that believe isn't an effort. It's a belief 
of refreshing and renewal in the Lord Jesus Christ because he's the author and finisher of our faith. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next lesson of the Christian Foundation course. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watched it on YouTube, please share or like. Um, maybe even comment if you watch it on Facebook. Like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one-off life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.